What's happening guys? Keith here with your Impact Wrestling Homecoming Preview and Predictions video. So it is Wednesday afternoon right now, so I am just talking about the six matches that were already announced. If there's more announced on tomorrow night's episode of Impact, I will talk about those matches on my review from the for the Go Home Show. To Homecoming, which I will be doing on Saturday, I will once again be joined by Ro from the Impact Lounge. Um, Impact really needs to hit it out of the park with this pay-per-view. A lot of buzz going online about AEW, Wrestle Kingdom, and I think Impact really needs to start the year off hot with a great show. So, I mean, on paper, it looks like it has the potential to be a fantastic show. It's all up to the booking team at this point. Um, so I guess we'll go for the non-title matches and then the title matches. First, Eddie Edwards versus Moose. Um, this is a rematch from Final Hour where we saw Moose gain the victory. Uh, what a fantastic match that was. That was one of my favorite matches in 2018, especially between these two. Um, Moose really needed a strong showing there, and he did. Um, I think Eddie Edwards is going to pick up the victory in this one. This is a Falls Count Anywhere match. I feel like that's more in uh, Eddie's wheelhouse with his new uh, persona, so to speak. I'm sure he will have Kenny with him. Uh, but yeah, no, I think Eddie should win this one. Uh, I would really like to see him continue the persona and feud with Eli Drake. What we saw between the two of them at the August one night only, uh, Night of the Dummies, uh, Eli Drake versus Eddie Edwards was the main event. The two of them put on a fantastic show, and it was just hilarious. I really think that would have translated well on TV. But, uh, yeah, Eddie Edwards, I'm, I'm picking here. Abyss versus Eli Drake, Monsters Ball match. This started from Bound for Glory when, I guess, Abyss took out Eli Drake, and then Eli got Joseph Park to be in his corner or represent him in suing Impact because of the unsafe work environment, which turned around into Eli Drake beating up Abyss or Joseph Park and Abyss sending out the challenge to Eli Drake via a balloon with a message on it. Um, he's going to have an address on, well, tomorrow night's episode, so curious what that will be about. But this is a Monsters Bowl match, so it probably won't be any stipulation. Uh, but Eli's the only... The only one that really should win this match. There's no reason for Abyss to go over here. Eli needs any type of momentum. Uh, 2018 was not really a great year for him. Uh, I mean, he went from champion starting the year to dropping the title like that. And then he really never made his way back up into the main event. We saw him get one his rematch against Ares. And then he had a title shot against Pentagon. But... Outside of that, he really hasn't done much, and I think he needs to really start the year off hot. Um, hopefully, they are grooming him to possibly dethrone Johnny Impact. So I think I think that's that's my pick, Eli Drake. He needs this match. Up next, Tag Team Championship match. LAX defends against the Lucha Brothers. Uh, this is all because of basically Conan. He is stuck in the middle here. He has you know alliances with both teams. I think he's going to be the one to play the factor in the winner or in deciding the winner. And I think he is going to turn on LAX and side with the Lucha Brothers. Um, LAX has kind of done everything really in the company. So I, I think we'll, uh, we'll turn the Lucha Brothers heel and do something a little different. Have Conan be against them. See how it works out. Um, I really would have liked to see Phoenix and Pentagon in singles matches rather than a tag match, but this match should be fantastic. Both All four of these men are capable of putting on a great match, so I expect it to be probably match of the night. I, actually, you know what? I can't even say that because the X, Ultimate X match could be really good. So could Eddie and Moose. So could Johnny and Cage. We know Tessa and Taya can go. So I'm going to take that back, but I think the match is going to be fantastic. Um, they did call it a dream match, even though I believe they faced off at PWG, and I know somewhere else as well. Um, but yes, Lucha Brothers, new tag team champions with the aid of Conan. Um, that'll make things a little different, but like I was saying, I would have liked to seen them in maybe singles matches. Phoenix going for the X Division. I think he would have been great in the Ultimate X match and Pentagon. Somewhere in the main event scene, but this should be great. Um, Ultimate X deciding the X Division Championship since Brian Cage relinquished it when he cashed in option C. 
So we had qualifying matches. We had Jay Chris versus Willie Mack, which Jay Chris won. Uh, Ethan Page versus Matt Seidel, which surprisingly Ethan Page won. Rich Swan versus Dave Christ. So Rich won, and it was Trey Miguel versus Trevor Lee. The recently departed Trevor Lee, he announced last night, or yeah, yesterday, that he is no longer a part of Impact Wrestling. Uh, big loss there. So much potential, but... Nothing you can do now. Just move on. So, yes, Jake Chris versus Ethan Page versus Rich Swan versus Trey Miguel. Um, one thing I really like about this match is that none of these men have held the X Division Championship before. So, we're going to have a new champion regardless. Um, seems like there's going to be a lot of great spots. And each person really can carry on a feud with winning the championship. I mean, uh, Jake. Him winning the championship could definitely cause a rift in OVE, especially since Callahan was going for that title recently against Brian Cage. Uh, Ethan Page picking up the championship. That will probably cause some tension between himself and Matt Seidel. Uh, Rich Swan with um, Willie Mack. And, well, Trey Miguel's the newcomer. I don't see them putting the title on him yet. Just yet, he will be a future X Division champion. Um, but I think the crowd needs to become a little more familiar with him before uh, we put the championship on him. Uh, I see Rich Swan picking up the victory here. Seems to make the most sense, and I would expect the company to put the title on him. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty fine with any of these four men walking out with the championship. Um, Ethan Page would definitely be a surprise, surprising one, but hey, we got we to gotta do something here. So I'm picking Rich Swan. Up next, Knockouts Division Championship match. Tessa Blanchard defends against Taya Valkyrie. Um, Gail Kim is the special guest referee. I think it's time. Let's give Taya a shot with the title. Um, I feel like somehow, some way, even if it's inadvertent, Gail is going to cost Tessa the championship, or Tessa is going to strike Gail. Gail's not going to hold back, strike her three count, whatever, whatever it may be. I feel like that's the direction they're going to go here. Um, and then I think Tessa can do some things outside of the championship. Uh, I think Taya bringing the knockouts championship into Mexico. I think that'll be a big thing. So Taya picking up the victory and I think they'll go on with something between Tessa and Gail, possibly to another pay-per-view, maybe middle of the year. Maybe they'll stretch it out to Slammiversary. Who knows? Um, I just hope that we get a Tessa versus Jordan Grace feud somewhere down the road. Maybe they meet back up for a knockouts championship match. Who knows? But yes, I'm going with Taya. Main event, Johnny Impact defends against Brian Cage. Brian Cage cashes in option C. This match happens. Um, we've seen a little bit built between the two of them. They've been really hyping Brian Cage up a lot. Um, They've been I think they just posted a highlight video of Brian. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they did put the title on him, especially just to create, you know, some sort of buzz. Big change. Um, I personally think Johnny should hold on to the title. I think Killer Cross is definitely going to play a role here. I think he's... I don't know if, if we're going to get a heel turn yet from Johnny. I think it's going to happen down the road. Is it time right now? No. They're kind of lacking in baby faces in the main event scene. I mean, I guess if you bring Eddie Edwards up into the main event scene, I mean, granted, I wouldn't say he's not in the main event scene. I'd say he's in the upper mid card right now. Um, but no, I, I think Killer Cross is going to aid Johnny. It's going to continue for a little while. And then eventually Johnny will turn heel. Um, this could turn into Brian Cage versus Killer Cross. It, there's a lot of possibilities here, but I think. Keeping the title on Johnny is the right move. We have Johnny and Taya going to Mexico, both champions. I like it. I think that'll work good. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's going to be a very good show overall. That is this Sunday, January 6th. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys thought of my predictions in the comment section below. Leave yours if you like. So Thanks for checking out my video. I will be back here Saturday for my review of the Go Home Show. And until then, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye. Did you like that video? If so, click here to check out more great content. Thank you for supporting the Clock Cleaners Podcast.